Ready to blow your mind? We have a square of side length two units inside, which we have inscribed two quarter circles, such that one quarter circle has its center at the top left corner, and the other quarter circle has its center at the top right corner. Our job is to find the area of this shaded region. Also note that you cannot use calculus in order to solve this problem. So, can you solve it? Okay, as a first step, since the quarter circles are drawn from the two bottom corners of the square, the side length of the square is the same as the radius of each quarter circle. So, the radius, which we will label as R, is equal to 2. Okay, now imagine drawing a line from the top left corner, or the center of one circle, to the point where the two curves intersect like this, and another line from the top right corner, or the center of the other quarter circle, to the same intersection point. If you look properly, both of these new lines are the radii of the quarter circle, and thus they are also equal to two units. So this way, we now have a triangle in the very center of our figure. And the crazy part is that all the three sides of this triangle are of length two units. And thus this triangle is an equilateral triangle. A wonderful property of an equilateral triangle is that all of its internal angles are equal to 60 degrees. This 60 degree angle is going to be our magic number. Okay, now look at the equilateral triangle we found. Next to it, there's a small curved region bounded by one of the triangle's sides and one of the quarter circle's arcs. Let us label the area of this region as S1. We can find its area by performing a subtraction. We'll take the area of the sector created by the 60 degree angle and subtract the area of the equilateral triangle. A sector is just a slice of a circle, like a slice of a pizza. The area of a whole circle is pi times r squared, and our radius r is 2, so the whole area is pi times 4. Also, we know that a complete circle has an angle of 360 degrees. Since 60 degrees is one-sixth of the full 360 degrees, the area of our sector is one-sixth of the whole circle's area. This gives us 4 pi over 6, or 2 pi, divided by 3. Then the formula for the area of an equilateral triangle with side length a is the square root of 3 divided by 4 times a squared. Our side length a is 2. 2 squared is 4, so the 4s cancel out. Therefore, the area of the equilateral triangle is simply the square root of 3. So now s, 1 is equal to 2 pi, divided by 3 minus square root of 3. Awesome! Now, here comes the magic. A square's corner angle is 90 degrees. We already used 60 degrees for the equilateral triangle, so the remaining angle in that corner is 90 degrees minus 60 degrees, which equals 30 degrees. Now look at the whole sector defined by this new 30 degree angle, or this region which we will call S2. Again, 30 degrees is just 1 twelfth of 360 degrees. So the area of this sector is 1 twelfth of the whole circle's area, or pi times 4, which simplifies to pi divided by 3. We are almost done. Notice that this 30 degree sector S2 covers the entire shaded region, which we are interested in, plus the small region which we called S1. Therefore, the area of the shaded region is the area of the 30 degree sector S2 minus the area of S1. So we get pi by 3 minus of 2 pi by 3 minus square root of 3. So this becomes pi by 3 minus 2 pi by 3 plus square root of 3. Combining the pi terms, we get the area of this shaded region as the square root of 3 minus pi divided by 3. Now, because the entire figure is symmetrical, the shaded area on the left is exactly the same as the shaded area on the right. Therefore, the total shaded area is simply two times this, and we are done. This was such a cool problem. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member.
So go. <laughs> <laughs>